Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten land. Souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. Oh my god, what is up guys? My name is Deft and welcome to Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin Edition. 
This game looks beautiful here on PS4, and I am so excited for this. I am so excited, but I'm also a little nervous because I'm going to challenge myself because I was thinking about doing a little practice run to get used to this game again. I have not played this game in a long time, but I decided, no, I need to challenge myself because I'm so good at this game that I don't want to be too good. I want it to be entertaining. I don't want to beat everything first try, <laughs> but for real though, I am so excited. It really does look great. And I even made sure to set the brightness correctly. I think pretty sure I left it at the default before, which is too bright. I had to turn it all the way down. I guess it should have a really bright screen. But here we go. Let's get talked some smack by these old ladies again. Telling me that I'm going to die over and over. Yeah, we'll see about that. Now, this is going to be extra tricky. I used to know this game like the back of my hand, and I have not played it in a long time. But not only that, but this is Scholar of the First Sin Edition, which has moved things around. I That is all I know. I don't really know where anything is. I know some keys got moved. I know there's some new enemies. I know there's a guy named the Forlorn who may mess me up. We'll see. I know one place that he'll invade me there. And I will be human. Gonna get invaded by everyone possible. That'll be fun. I don't know how many people are on here. I may or may not play offline. <laughs> we'll see. I only got invaded one time, I think, in my original playthrough. Which is one reason why I really wanted to come back to this. Because that was one of my favorite playthroughs, but my quality was really crap at the beginning. <laughs> Tried to recall my name. What? What do I call myself? Well, I have an idea right there. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. I spent a lot of time contemplating what my name was going to be. I am set. Man, it really took me back watching that intro cutscene. And I'm pretty sure that even looked better. This for sure looks better. The gameplay absolutely does. I mean, heck, on PS3, this is only playable in 720p. It looks extra crystal clear now. Oh, my first human effigy in a long time. Yes, it's an effigy of you. Look at those undead fingers. All right, and here we are. Oh boy, this character creation screen. I have not been here in forever. I'm just gonna go with my classic setup. What I chose the very first time I played this game, which is my very first Dark Souls game, and remains my favorite. Say what you will about that. But I love this game. I love the other games. The other games are great. But this one's my favorite. Probably because it's my first. Probably because I had that initial wonder. I mean, I still had that with the other ones. But man, the wonder for this is still so strong, reaching certain areas. There is a huge nostalgia. Now... What did I pick originally? I think I went with a healing wear. So let's just make this as easy for me as I can. Because I know it's going to be tricky. How do I move over? I don't want to finalize. How do I get over to body? I can't. I can't figure it out. I do not want to finalize. I mean, I guess I could. I don't care that much about my character. I guess if I can't figure it out, then... We're just gonna finalize. Let's do it. He'll be covered in armor anyway. Let's just get to it. Ooh, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Hopefully, just getting to the first boss will be enough warm up to get back into the rhythm of it and be ready. I mean, I'm sure I have my reflexes somewhere deep down in my subconscious to pull upon. I'm sure that as soon as I start fighting stuff, my muscle memory will just come to the surface and I will be a champion again. I'm the type of person who I don't really get rusty with games very much. 
Like, there will be a level of rust, but it doesn't take me long to get right back into the swing of things if I've spent enough time on it. And oh boy, I get that it's nice and crisp in HD, but you don't gotta... You don't gotta zoom so close up on her teeth. Can I play? Oh yeah, here we are! Oh! Oh my god. It looks so smooth. And I know up here, gosh, everything, even the chests look great. Now this is a game, I don't remember, in fact, even if I remembered which chests were mimics, I, they probably swapped around. But I better be careful, because I'm going to hit all of them. And you can actually break them in this game. I remember that. And I gotta actually break this wagon. I've officially defeated my first enemy of the playthrough. That wagon. I love that I'm seeing phantoms already. I was real curious how many people would be on here. Look at things betwixt. Beautiful. Now let's not get ambushed by the ogres or trolls or cyclops, whatever they are. They will mess me up. I'm not going to accept that challenge. No, no. Now remember my basic controls. There you are. The guy that was going to ambush me. I will fight through here. I do need this. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to say hi to that one. Hopefully. Hopefully there's nothing different. I don't think there would be anything different about the tutorial. They're not just going to throw one of them at me in the middle of it, right? Right. Let's see, and I do not start with the shield. That is... Oh my god, these controls. They are changed. I got the imported hood. I'll keep my... My gorgeous mug... In full view for right now. Put that stuff on. I don't get a shield though. Yep. So I will just block with my sword. In the meantime. No! No, sir. So far, so good. I mean, I don't think I've ever died in here. At least not to these guys. Let's see, pretty sure all the controls are the same. I'm just questioning that now that I have tried to open the menu and get this. Why would those two buttons be switched? Why would it be the like motion controller button? I still don't know what to call it. I think I call it. Do I call it the touchpad? I probably do. Cause it's like it's like a a little touch screen, I guess. I I don't know how it works. I don't have a single game that uses that as like a motion control type deal and not just a button another button to press let's knock down that ladder for further use in case i want to say hi to the crows i'm making myself a little dizzy here with this camera oh boy oh is it because there's no motion blur is it because there's no motion blur that it's making me a little sick messing with this camera too much does the motion blur prevent that i wonder I get for a cinematic effect, but does it actually prevent motion sickness? Because I do have that. I'm lucky. I'm quite lucky. Do I even attempt this jump? That can be my first death of the playthrough, and I would like that to be very, very late in the game. If, at all, if possible, never. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to try that jump. Maybe I should. You guys are going to make fun of me if I don't. But anyway... What I was going to say is I do have motion sickness. I do suffer from motion sickness. And I have heard that some people get it during games. Some people don't even have it IRL, but suffer from it when they play video games. And I feel bad for those people. I must be very lucky that I'm able to play pretty much any video game. I have yet to play a game that, is, that has made me nauseous. I will stop spinning for those of you who... <laughs> Don't want to look at that. Though I will not be able to help that too well. What are you? You are new. Who are you? I can't target you. I don't like that. Let's not fall off the edge. Oh, gosh. So there are new enemies. <gasps> You're new. There's a basilisk in the tutorial. There's a basilisk in the tutorial. Oh, no. See, I don't even have a shield. 
Why can't I target you? Oh, you're petrified. And you're in the way. A statue blocks away. Wait a sec. I'm gonna need a branch of your to get into that part of the, th the tutorial. I guess it makes sense because there's the the coffin over there. I guess. Hold on. There was a thing I wanted. It was not in there. It was over here. I wanted to make that jump because I am nice. I will make this jump for you guys and show you that I have nothing to fear. Thank you. I will cherish these amber herbs. And I mean, I certainly will get that chance because I'll never use them. They will remain in my inventory forever, and thus I will cherish them. But okay. Can't even go in there. Works for me. Tutorial cleared. Right? Right, there's no more surprises. Yes? Oh, these messages. I remember I was so excited. I was so nervous, actually. First time I played. Running through here, I'm just like, oh gosh, I can finally see the sunlight. There's messages everywhere, though, trying to troll me. Trying to tell me, oh, big boss ahead. But then I stepped through. Basked in the sunlight. And it said, welcome to Majula for the first time. And little did I know how much time I'd be spending here. Let's grab ourselves this item over here. Oh, that theme. I have not heard that theme in such a long time. Now, there is an item. Down here. Let's be very careful. It's not there. It is here. There we go. Take those binoculars, right? I still remember what those are. And now, I light the Majula bonfire. This journey has officially begun. Rest up. And let's get our Estus flask. Bearer of the curse. Oh yeah, that's, that's not what she says right away. I... That's what I get when I talk to her every time after this one. Bearer of the curse. There it is. I will remain by your side. Till this I will let the dialogue play. For those of you who may not have seen this, may it ease your I will let the dialogue roll. I will not skip it. And if I talk over it, the there are subtitles. He who made Plus, I'll try to make sure the audio is loud enough. Oh yeah, I am ready. I'm gonna be slaying everyone, including Vendrick. This is gonna be a hundred percent playthrough. However daunting that may be. I mean, that's what I did last time. I got it. Oh yeah, item. I think a couple life gems. Yeah. I know things. Now, I think his key, it's gonna take some getting used to. I may have to change the button settings. Can I even do that? I will figure that out between episodes. What was I gonna do? I, oh yeah, I wanted to equip my flask because it does not come automatically equipped. There we go. This will probably be my tool belt for the rest of the game. It's pretty much all I need. Alright though. What can we do thus far? I don't think I can really do much of anything. Now, one thing about this playthrough. I need to think of what to do. Oh yeah, there is an Estus Shard. Oh, he. Let's take that. But one thing about this playthrough. I have decided. I mean, at least I would like to and have basically decided that I'm gonna make this a strength build. Now, I can think of a million dex weapons to use, but that is gonna be one reason that I, or one uh, aspect of this that I challenge myself in this playthrough, because I can only think of one strength weapon that I like, and that is the mace that you can buy at the blacksmith shop so early on. 
I don't know what I would go to from there, and I do not want to use the mace for the entire playthrough, but I do know the mace is quite useful, because there are some enemies early on that are weak to uh, strike damage, and it would be quite advantageous to use that mace early on. But what I move on to from that, I do not know. I really don't. Let's see, I'm pretty sure there's an item up here. Is there? Let's find out. There it is. Homeward Bones, yeah. Some very nice stuff to get early on. Yeah, I guess I will play with my settings <laughs> between this episode and the next. See if I can maybe enable motion blur. Change my controls up a little bit and thus the theme dies as I head into here because I want a shield. No matter how good it is, I want a shield. I'm not going to block with this sword. I mean, I trust my dodging ability. Plus, I'm pretty sure the knight starts with high adaptability, which gives me some good dodges early on. But, I would like a shield. Just to have one. There's the Crimson Parma. I, I'm going to hit that every time. Equip. There we go. Now I can now I can do my blocking. And I've been debating whether or not I want to go through here first. Through here through the uh Forest of Fallen Giants. I think I might want to do Forest of Fallen Giants. Because I don't have the mace yet. These guys are very weak to strike damage, and I would make quick work of them with the mace. Boy, let's see how I fare with this long sword. Broadsword, pretty sure it's a broadsword. Oh, hello. I forgot. Oh, you are in a different place. There is multiple of them. Though they're not hostile. That is good. I forgot. They don't even... None of them attack you unless you attack them. Let's hope I don't accidentally. You guys, like, doing your combos, I remember that. And one last stab. See, not a lot of damage. But I could probably kill him in, like, two hits with the maze. Instead, it took me eight. I think. Hold my great sword. Dude, this looks so beautiful. I thought that this place was beautiful in 720p. And now look at it. My goodness. That is amazing. But okay, yeah. Forest of Fallen Giants, it is. I just wanted that shield. So back we go to Majula. I know, those of you that were excited to see the Dragon Rider fight end this episode, no. Not happening, though he is easy. And it would be a good idea to face him early on to get some good XP. But, Force to Fallen Giants, it has been decided. Let's not forget this item right here, which is not a mimic. There's a bunch of blood, though. Ay ay ay, this game made me so nervous. I was always worried about traps, because, I mean, like, I would see that as a noob having played, being playing the first, the game for the first time. I don't know why that was so difficult to say. But seeing blood stain right in front of that chest, I'm just like, oh my god, is that a mimic? But it wasn't. I'm just like, okay, though, maybe if I hit it, it won't come out. Like, is there some other way? I would be so nervous to open that chest just because there's blood stains. I mean, how did someone manage to die in front of that chest? For real. I went to open this gate. It took so long to open. I was just like, oh, what is on the other side of this? That invisible wall is still there. Oh, the roar of that waterfall. Summon sign. That must be a person. Let's grab this here chest. I forgot to hit it. They wouldn't throw a mimic at me this early though, right? Right. Okay, here we go. Welcome to the Force of the Fallen Giants. That is new. Hello. I am glad I saw you before you saw me. I don't know how far you go. I want that item. I want that item over there. Oh, no. Okay, he's going to keep going. Cool. Oh, I saw you. Whoa. Whoa. He's looking this way. I don't know how good your vision is, buddy. I mean, you've only got one eye. You should have no depth perception. Oh, this is... 
They're throwing curveballs at me right away. I can't handle you. I am not strong enough. I am not nearly strong enough. Oh, this is going to be quite the challenge. He's turning around already. Okay, here's my chance. Let's take it. Oh, boy. Here I was thinking... Oh yeah, maybe I'll just like grind between episodes early on. Look at all this blood. This game is active. I like that. There's another guy lying in wait. Okay, get out of the way before he sees me. That guy means death. I don't know how strong I would want to be before I feel safe facing you. Okay, he does not look over here. That is good. Well, let's get to that first bonfire at the very least. Okay, anything else? want to throw me off for real what else is new this I mean this is good I like that it's mixing it up throwing curveballs at me that I like that that makes me happy oh but this is gonna be a challenge now <laughs> hit the wrong button again how much do I need to level up I have one level up in me it's not. I don't think it's worth spending, though. Let's... Or is it? Is it really? Okay, let's... <laughs> let's do it. Let's be extra cautious. Plus, I want in the episode. I want to mess with my settings. I want to fix my settings. I want to adjust my settings to what is comfortable for me. Don't watch. There will be no way of switching those buttons. Tell me I can make a custom button layout. I wonder if the blacksmith's key has been moved. It probably has. But okay, what is my first level up going to do? Strength. Let's just solidify that that's what this playthrough is going to be. 12 strength. Here we come. Okay, well. That is that for now. As much as I want to make this an extra long first episode. I mean, it kind of already is. With the intro included, yeah. We're here in Majula. There's already curveballs left and right. I cannot wait to see what they throw at me next, and I hope I'm ready for it. And I hope you guys are ready for this playthrough. I am so excited. I cannot wait to play so much more of this. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you'll be joining me next time as we begin our new journey. And until then, I'll see you guys later. I'm out.